Have you ever wondered why certain chess games are considered the best of times? Today we are taking a journey back to 1852 to explore the Evergreen game, a legendary match between Adolf Anderson and Jean Dufresne. This is not just any game, this is a masterpiece you won't want to miss. Let's dive right in and see what makes it so unforgettable. Anderson opens with e4, claiming the center. The response is e5, knight f3, developing a piece and targeting the e5 pawn. Black's response is knight c6, defending with developing a piece. With bishop c4, the bishop goes to an active diagonal and eyes to the f7 square. Black also develops his bishop and now b4. The aim of this move is to sacrifice a pawn, gain active lines with tempo and control the center with c3 and d4. The gambit is accepted and c3, attacking the bishop. Bishop goes to a5, staying on the same diagonal as the king. d4, attacking the center, black captures the pawn and instead of capturing, Anderson puts his king to safety with castling. Black response is d3. By this move, black prevents white from capturing on d4 and make a solid pawn structure on the center, but the downside of this move is being behind in development. After d3, Anderson develops his queen to b3, targeting the f7 weakness. Black defends with developing his queen and e5. Knight cannot capture this pawn because of rook to e1. If black defends with his pawn, queen b5, check, winning a bishop. So the queen shifts to g6, rook e1 and knight e7 preparing for castling. Bishop a3 activating the bishop on a better diagonal. In this position instead of castling black plays b5 giving up a free pawn to activate his rook and bishop. Anderson takes the free pawn by his queen, rook attacks the queen and queen goes to a4. Black cannot castle because the bishop on a3 will capture the knight and if black recaptures, the bishop on a5 will drop. Black puts his bishop to b6 and everything is ready for castling now. Anderson develops his last minor piece. Black also instead of castling develops his bishop. Anderson puts his knight to the central square e4, blocking the queen defense from d3. Queen f5 and bishop captures on d3. The queen now threatened by knight f6 check, so queen h5 is played by black. Anderson here sacrifices the knight. Black has to take because the queen is also under attack. White pawn also captures on f6 and now the e-file becomes open for the rook. Rook g6 was played by black aiming for capturing the knight on f3. Anderson ignores the knight and brings the other rook to d1. Queen captures the knight and there is a checkmate threat on g2. But Anderson starts attacking with rook takes e7 check. Knight captures the rook and here Anderson sacrifices his queen. King has to take otherwise there is a checkmate threat on e7. And here bishop f5 is a double check. King has only two squares. King c6 will be checkmate immediately by bishop d7. So king goes to e8, bishop d7 check, king f8, and bishop captures on e7 checkmate. What a breathtaking finish by Anderson. A beautiful game that will remain evergreen in our hearts. Let's go back and see what happens if black had not captured the rook with his knight. In this situation, black's only choice is king d8. Rook gives him another check by capturing the d7 pawn. If black captures the rook, bishop f5 is double check again and king e8 is forced, bishop d7 check, king d8 is forced, bishop captures the knight check, king c8 is forced again, bishop d7 check, king d8 and bishop e7 is a checkmate again. After rook capturing d7, king c8 also is not a good solution because of rook d8 check. If black captures with his rook, the queen will drop, if he captures with king, Bishop f5 is a dangerous check again and if he captures with the knight we have a brilliant queen sacrifice again following with bishop f5 double check king has to go to e8 or c6 which both of them will be checkmated by bishop d7. 
In this game, Anderson shows us the beauty of chess. If you enjoyed this game, don't forget to hit the like button and make sure to subscribe for more chess insights. Thank you for watching and until next time, keep playing and keep learning.